G'day and welcome to Roslyn here in Bushy Park. If you love your old historical properties like I do and wonder what life was like for the landed gentry in the middle of the 19th century, come with me for a trip back in time. Roslyn, originally called Coombe, was built by William Blythe in 1859, who immigrated from Essex in England to find his fame and fortune in Van Diemen's Land. He and his wife had no less than 15 children, so it's no wonder he had to build such a large home. Roslyn is just huge almost 60 squares in size or around 550 square metres. Downstairs are two gigantic bedrooms, a vast formal lounge, a cosy library with an open fire, a massive country style kitchen and a spacious and light filled sunroom that is also flooded with relaxing rural views. And I really love these grand old stairs and this humongous hallway which stirs up memories of times past. The downstairs bathroom has been renovated old style and when you venture upstairs you find a further five bedrooms with their unique dormer style shaped ceilings and a quaint 60s style original bathroom. Now there's about 22 acres of gently sloping pasture with just a sprinkling of bush up behind the house. And when you look out over the views, they've changed little since the time of William Blythe. If you venture into nearby Bushy Park and walk among the historic hop kilns, you really do get a feeling that time has stood still here. And then just a short distance away you find Mount Field National Park and the famous Russell Falls. Incidentally, the Browning family who discovered the falls circa 1856, also once called Roslyn Home. The property boasts some great outbuildings such as these sheds and is connected to the Fenton water scheme, so there is no shortage of fresh water here. Well, I truly hope you've been inspired to add your family's name to this fabulous historic property. If you'd like to arrange your own inspection, call us now, because as always, we'd love to show you through.